up. We're going to go into hospitals thinking they had Obamacare and, and then they didn't have it. Almost no one signed up unless you go in by hand with Health and Human Services. That's admitted. No one has signed up digitally properly. They just think they have. Then they've been data mined so the IRS knows where to go get your bank account or where to garnish your wages. And now that's admitted. People say, how did you know everything they do? Because these crooks, folks, are like a dog going back to its vomit. It's like saying, how do I know how dogs act at a dog bark? I'm a dog fancier, folks. I've had dogs my whole life. I know how dogs act. How do I know how to go out in the right weather and catch bass and know where to put my line? Because I've done a little bit of bass fishing. I've done a lot of studying the New World Order, folks, and they act pathologically. It's criminology. They do the same stuff over and over and over again with new permutations and new modern uh, advancements in tyranny and oppression and propaganda and disinformation and brainwashing and, and baiting and switching and spinning. But now, now, it, 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 we cannot have this type of stuff with nuclear weapons involved. World War I and World War II started with proxy state actions. What Brzezinski and the globalists think, they can not have a nuclear war if they use proxy states. That's how all the big wars have started in the last 300 years. You guys aren't doing something new with proxy wars. Using smaller countries as your battleground like Vietnam or countless other examples, Afghanistan. I mean... I got to be honest with you folks, there's a real good chance this could cause a regional war, even World War III. I mean, that's what most analysts are saying, too. And we're just sitting here watching it happen, watching our leaders do it again. And with Obama, there's a real ideology, too. Obama, obviously, being bi bisexual, Hillary bisexual, most of... And it's nothing even against those people, folks. It's just that the problem is they discriminate. You don't get in the liberal higher clubs unless you are. And so most of the White House is, and that's on come out, it's on record. And they really have a problem with Putin that he's not going to let them go over there and teach five-year-old Russian children how to have gay anal sex. I mean, you know, they're a bunch of pervs. At, 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 I'm not attacking them because they're bisexuals, but that, that that's grown into a bunch of wanting to recruit children, which becomes pedophilia, and I'm against that. You can call me, you know, a conspiracy theorist or old-fashioned. I'm not trendy. Uh, but I think, you know, it's illegal. I think it's horrible and oppressive and exploits children. And they want, and they, and they here in America teach young children absolutely horrible stuff. You know, Jocelyn Elders wanted to teach five-year-olds how to masturbate. She said, reach down and show them how to do it. And I hate to have to, you know, to bring stuff up like this, but this is what they do. We live in a giant mind control facility, and you've got a bunch of, you know, Obama, you know, raised by his tranny nanny and the rest of it. And uh, he's upset that they can't do that in Russia. They're very upset about that. You can make whatever judgments you want about the Russians. Nobody who's, quote, gay is being oppressed in Russia, folks. The thing is, they're not going to have state-run media promoting it. It's a depopulation agenda. It's on Russian TV. Russian TV now sounds like the Alex Jones show in many cases. The guy that runs the big state-run media over there. I've seen the transcripts. Sounds like, you know, he listens to my show. And I, by the way, I've been invited on big national state-run Russian TV, and I don't even do it. They offered me to come on last week live, and I just declined it because I'm just not going to get in the middle of it. The point is, is the Russians know what's going on. And they're going, do we really want to commit suicide? Do we really not want to have any future generation? Do we really imagine us at the Olympics? People don't think of John Wayne or anything, or they don't think of Americana, George Washington, guns, cowboys, private property, frontier, Native Americans, all the cool stuff about America. They didn't think about that. It was all about men dressing up like women and stuff. And hey, man, if you want to do that, whatever. I'm not obsessed with that. Don't think for a minute that, that, you know, I'm trying to rain on your parade. My whole issue is we don't want that to be the national anthem. That is not what everyone wants to live like. And we don't want to be forced to accept your culture. We don't want to be forced to accept uh, a bunch of women ruling over effeminate men in dresses. We don't, we want to have kids. We want to have families. We like big cars. We like beautiful, powerful women. We like we like children. We like fun. We like 50 caliber rifles. We like private property. And you know, the Russians like that too. Russians, it came out, um, admired Americana culture and, and lusted after it. That's the true spirit of 1776. And that's what I represent. That's what I want. I represent freedom. I represent libertarian ideas.
I think you should step into that mindset as well if you're a so-called liberal out there or a mainline conservative before it's too late and we have World War III. Because I have mainline right-wing Republicans attacking me because I don't want to have World War III with Russia. Hey, man, I love my kids. What about you, dummy? The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Extend your life with So, Dad, you're sounding a lot better. How have you been feeling since your heart attack? Well, son, I am feeling a lot better. Ever since your sister ordered me a bottle of Heart Drop 2000's Extendivite for my heart. Heart Drop? Extendivite? What's that? Well, it, it's just seven herbs that are approved for helping keep my heart healthy. That's great, Dad. I was getting worried about you. I am so glad it's helping. So am I, son. I'm very glad your sister got it for me. I wish I had known about it before my heart attack. Yeah, but would you have taken it though? You know, I'm not sure if I would have, but I'm awful glad I'm taking it now. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822 or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend Over. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Jones here back live. I think Terminator Judgment Day music is uh, fitting here for the transmission today dealing with thermal nuclear war. Chairman of Joint Chiefs says U.S. ready for military response in Ukraine. That is uh, being reported by Zero Hedge with links to the website of the Atlantic Council that basically advises and runs the National Security Council of uh, foreign bankers that control the country. So Wall Street and the globalist banksters are ready 
for military response. Uh, the quote, U.S. Army is ready to back up Ukraine and its allies in Europe with military actions, close quote. Says Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Dempsey, General Martin Dempsey, uh, again, uh, has uh, claimed that in the uh, case of the escalation of unrest in Crimea, the U.S. Army is ready to back up Ukraine and its allies in Europe with military actions. Boy, isn't that just a wonderful, wonderfully horrible announcement. Now, Russia, because I studied what happened back in 1940 with Stalin and Hitler. Stalin and Hitler had a pact, and they agreed to then uh, invade Poland secretly, but to have the Russians claim they were doing it uh, to make sure that the Germans didn't take all of Poland and with the Germans claiming they took it to make sure the Russians didn't take all of Poland because one side of Poland was more pro-German, had more German-rooted citizens, and the other side of Poland, just like Ukraine, was more Russian-influenced with those two empires always influencing each other, the Austrian-Hungarian and then, of course, uh, the uh, Russian Tsarist Empire. So it's almost a replay uh, of uh, what happened. Then the Germans, a few years later, in Operation Barbarossa, double-crossed the Russians and went into eastern Poland, driving the Russians out, and then right up to Leningrad slash Stalingrad, uh, and just a few hundred miles away from Moscow. And of course, the fought there for a year or so, and then finally uh, failed, and then the Russians began their big drive into Berlin, and uh, the downfall of Adolf Alois Hitler and his bunker, if you believe the official reports, which probably are true. The point is, is that all of that is history. We know it. It was a war that killed conservatively 50 million people worldwide, 20 million of them Germans. 21 million Germans on average, if you look at the numbers, there's, the numbers vary to 18 to 25 million. 21 million Germans died. 20 plus mil. Just remember that and understand that it could be that a deal has been made between Putin and the globalists to just divide Ukraine right down the middle. That's why the Russian-backed government stood down when they were attacking police and let the protests get out of control. That's why the West helped fund it and is now trying to escalate it. The Russians then grabbed Crimea to secure their gas lines. It's traditionally been part of Russia anyways. They grabbed the gas lines and their military bases. And then now Putin says he'll stop and won't go into the rest of Crimea uh, if uh, the Ukrainians don't attack their bases, but then the Ukrainians are building up for an attack. That arms buildup has been going on for over a week and a half. Uh, the Ukrainians have one of the biggest standing armies in the world in their reserve, one million people in the Ukrainian reserves. And they are now massing more than 300,000 Ukrainian troops, 100,000 of them regular army, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, you name it, to attack Russian positions and are calling for a military response from NATO. This is all public. So while everybody's busy worried about South by Southwest and, oh my gosh, did you hear Cayenne West or whatever his name was in town or Jay-Z or whatever their names are, you know, Justin Biebler, while we're worried about all that, World War III could be starting. It might not start. It might start. Because here's the deal. The globalist financial meltdown is happening now. We're sitting on 1.5 quadrillion in derivatives, 1,500 billion in derivatives. So all of that is going on, all of that is unfolding, and they're going to want a big war uh, while that happens. Now, now, again, maybe, maybe this is a backroom deal to divide Ukraine and Russia gets half the spoils and gets to take liberties and saber rattle with the West and back their government up. And the U.S. and NATO and the EU get to have a big political fight and divert everybody from the financial meltdown and suck dry half of uh, Ukraine as a snack, like the EU has been doing to all the other countries in the EU. It's like opting into brain cancer to join the EU. And I think it's opting into something not too good to try to join with Russia as well. The point is, is Ukraine should be neutral. But the Western powers and the Eastern powers are not going to let them do that. So there's a, there's a, I don't know, there's a chance in negotiations they're going to divide the country. I've said day one, I think that's how that's going to end. If the West keeps pushing. Uh, but if they attack the Russians, it'll just be war. And then I guess you'll have about 20 minutes once that starts to uh, go see your family, give them some kisses, and then uh, try to get into a shelter before the ICBMs come in.
and the cruise missiles come in from the submarines off the coast and before the sleeper teams, the Russian sleeper teams start detonating nukes in major cities. So, uh, and of course the Russians will all be basically killed as well. We're on the march.